Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Homesick episode 76 to 77 due to Webtoon's new policy. I did the blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, I do have all these reads without any censorship, any blurs, and you guys gain early access to all my stuff. They're all available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I'm getting better at this, okay? Kenny Luckstar, do you accept this deal? Oh. Uh, uh. I'll never let go. Let you go through the same thing again. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. You seem sweet, little lady. I'll prob probably say yes to you if I didn't have a cousin to look after. You see, he's kind of depressed right now because everything hasn't been going well for him. If you've been living under a rock, Sammy lost his cat not so long ago. And, uh, oh, and a girl he's probably fond of left the group because, wait for it, she's infected. And he doesn't know it. <laughs> What's even more fucked up is that I'm the only one who knows, but I never told him. Pretty shitty on my part. The last thing I want to do is disappoint him even more, you know? He's all I have. So, I'm going to reject your offer. You've been very tempting, but I'm good. We don't need her. Right, kiddo? Uh, uh, nah. <laughs> what? There's your answer. So, uh... Could you maybe get us out of this space? It's making me nauseous. That can't happen. And why not? You're the chosen one. I can't just let you go. Ma'am, I get it. I'm charming, but it's not my fault. You're obsessed with me. Uh, you... You looked at me first. Oh, God. You're one of those psycho chicks. I should have known. I should have known. Only hot people attracts crazy people. There, there. What? What the hell is wrong with him? No, Kenny. I've already decided to infect you whether you like it or not. So you're not getting out of this space unless you've agreed to deal to the deal. It's just as simple as that. Ugh. You sure are desperate. Fine, you want to be stubborn? I can be stubborn too. I'll stay here as long as it takes until you've given up. Cool? You can't be serious. Oh, I'm dead serious. The audacity for you to think you can just use my body as you please is a huge red flag. Show some respect. Guess we'll find out. So he is fighting. Uh. Hi. Hey, that voice. It's nice to see a fresh face. Hopefully they won't take you away so soon. When anyone's taken away from their cell, they usually don't come back. So I'm always left alone here. My empty thoughts. Why haven't they taken you? They have several times, but they said I was being difficult. That's why I'm still here. How long have you been here? Beats me. I'm horrible at keeping track of time. Even more so after sitting in this depressing cell from two months, 18 days, to six hours, and 43 minutes. Uh, 44 minutes now. Two months. Noted. Hmm. Probably. He's losing it. What's your name? Adon kept calling you Gladiolus. What's up with all that we the weird names anyways? He can't remember names. He gave us ones that are easier for him to remember. And we all just got used to it. Huh? So you used to work for the guy. And now you're placed in one of their jail cells. You realize you're probably not going to get out of this alive, right? 
I managed to escape the first time. I can do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Just because you did it the first time doesn't mean you could do it again, smartass. They prob probably upped their security system, you know? Like installing hidden cameras in places you don't know. More guards and all that fun stuff. All eyes are now on you. I'll help you out if I knew every inch of this place. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I probably won't, but you never know. I recognize that laughter anywhere. I don't think I caught your name. <laughs> Newcomers don't usually ask for my name. So I almost forgot how to properly, proper, properly introduce myself. Sorry about that. Kling. I don't look the best, so just a heads up. Name's Gressel. Nice to meet you. He's alive? I thought he was gone. <gasps> he's gonna he's gonna go after rain. Homesick. I'd help you out if I knew every inch of this place. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I probably won't. Won't, but you never know. I'd recognize that laughter anywhere. I don't think I caught your name. Newcomers don't usually ask for my name. So I almost forgot how to properly introduce myself. Sorry about that. I don't look the best, so just a heads up. Name's Gressel. Nice to meet you. Homesick. I searched the entire house for you, expecting you to be dead, but there was no trace of you anywhere. Now I'm stuck in the cell with you. How unfortunate. Oh, I miss you too. Keep that up and you're gonna actually make me cry. If it make you feel any better, I technically died. I think. Don't remember. All I remember was I woke up with the worst headache ever. Shit lasted for a whole week. Can't be sent here unless you're infected. What happened? Honestly, not sure. I found this place one day and was kind of thrown in here without an, an explanation, except the fact that they said my blood was carrying something special. That white Lolita said I was resurrected by someone's blood. They've been trying everything to find this person. So have I. If Gressel was resurrected by someone at that house, what if it's Rain? He may have consumed some of her blood before he died, then came back from the dead. But that just raises another question. Can Rain bring people back to life? <sighs> she won't be thrilled when she learned that she brought back his life. Who isn't gonna be thrilled? Remember Rain? Rain who? He doesn't remember her? But don't, but don't, but don't, but don't. <gasps> Breathe, Tomaha. Breathe. There's nothing to freak about, out about. That's your best friend. Who the hell cares if she's infected or not? She saved Samuel and Ogre for goodness sake. Yeah, she. she. Huh? Oh. Toma, you in there? Oh, why is he here and what? I can explain. Just let me in. Uh. <laughs> He's the key to finding the others. That's why I need him. And if we're lucky, maybe he'll tell us what they're planning on doing with them. What if he doesn't take you to them? He's our enemy. What makes you think he'll cooperate with us? He will. He doesn't have a choice. Uh. Fine, you can go. But only on one condition. I go with you. Tomaha, Rain. Remember the people that took us in for a night? We'll take Sam and Ogre there. They'll help, help take care of them, I'm sure. If that's the case, we'll need a vehicle. And let's say we have one, who's going to drive? 
that I'll drive. Huh? No one is taking anyone anywhere. We all go together. Sam, are you okay? Yeah, more than okay, actually. I feel great. That's good, but you should still rest for a bit. Relax. It was just a baby cut on my neck. Still got my arms and legs. If he says he's fine, then I'm sure he is. Right, but still. Where are you going? I'll look for a working vehicle. You guys keep an eye on the guy until he wakes up. But Sam... There's no time to sit around and wait for nothing. I'll come back as soon as I can. Uh -uh. <sighs> Tomaha, go with him. Don't worry, I got him under control. Oh, they hugged. You're still loved. Don't forget that. Okay, see ya! Homesick. Alright guys, that's a wrap. At least we know Sam is actually alive. He recovered well from, you know, having Rain's blood seep into his neck wound or maybe he drank it. I don't know how they did it. But he recovered a lot faster than Ogre, surprisingly. But now they're going to look for a vehicle and they're going to go and try to save everyone, especially Kenny and Gladiolus, aka Raven. But alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!